Hello. Today I'm going to show you my newest piece of tech, the Asus Transformer Mini. You can see it here, it has some of the box. This is an Asus product. Well, I just said that, so that's okay. So this is the box for it. It's, um, it's okay. I mean, there's nothing super exciting about it. Uh, but it's functional. It does the job. If I flip it over and we look at the back, the writing's kind of small here, but we can see it's gray in color. Uh, we can see that it's got an Intel Z8350 uh,8GA uh, processor. It's got 128 gig EMMC hard drive, solid state. Uh, it's got four gigs of RAM and you know, WLAN spec, WLAN spec, not WLAN, WLAN specs, wireless LAN, and some other things, which we'll see. So let's go ahead and open this up. Now, this is not a true unboxing video. I've had this machine for about uh, two weeks now, but I thought I'd kind of show you the original packaging. So in search of a credible, that's just kind of something pretty there on the top. And there it is. We're seeing the back of the keyboard here, which is kind of a velveteen material. Um, and it's nice because it prevents any sliding. Uh, that's going on there. Um, so let's go ahead and remove this. Take a look if I can. So if I flip it over, we will see the actual tablet. Now this is a Windows tablet. So it's running Windows 10. Um, and it's running, uh, I think, 10 Pro. Uh, but we got the logo there. We got this thing here, which is a circle here, which is for, for fingerprinting. So I've got two fingers that are um, registered with that my index fingers, and, and so I can use that to unlock it when it's gone to sleep. Let's set that aside for just a second and look at what else is in this box. We've got a stylus, which uh, has been pretty nice. Um, I do have like a couple of reservations on it that I'll talk about. Um, but uh, for now, it's got a couple buttons that you can use that use like mouse buttons. It does take a uh, quadruple A battery, so A, 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 but it's got to feel like a pen, uh, and you just got the uh, stylus tip there. So I'll set that aside, and then you've got, you know, your standard micro SD cable. So it uses a micro SD cable to charge. We can focus in on that. That's a micro SD. And then, of course, you've got the ubiquitous. Here's your little power block there. This is a two amp power block. Um, it, it, and so that's what it needs. Uh, I tried using it on some lesser ones and it will work with it. But it, if, um, if, the, if your power block is like I tried using it uh, on an old um, uh, Amazon uh, one that I have for my Kindle and that was actually less than an amp and it took forever to charge. And I picked it because uh, it was it was small. And I, I have a little bag that I'll show you, a little, a little sleeve that I'll show you that fits, that this thing fits well. And I wanted to put that in there, and uh, I thought this was kind of clunky. But I've since replaced it with this, so I've got the actual one um, that I store with it. So that's that, that was it. That are the contents. So let's get the box out of the way, and let's look at the device itself. Um, so some other things that, that I did, one thing I didn't mention, so we, we got the fingerprint thing. You've also got a kickstand here. So this part back here lifts up, and that is your kickstand. And as you can see, it stays put. It's got good metal hinges. In fact, this whole back is all metal. This and this, uh, all of this is metal. And the hinge is really nice. It kind of it kind of locks in place there. But if you want it something midway, you can set it where you want it, and uh, it will stay put. So that's very nice. Let's look at some of the other stuff on the side here. You've got a volume rocker, and you've got one speaker here, a speaker grill there. Um, and then on this side, we've got headphone jack right there. We've got a USB three. Uh, port there for plugging in whatever you want, uh, mouse or whatnot. Uh, this is a uh, mini HDMI out, so you could use that to connect to you know another monitor, an external monitor, and then uh, that's the charging point, the micro USB charging port, and then of course the other speaker grill over here. Um, as you can see right there, it's kind of it's just nothing, it's just a bunch of holes. Nothing really great there. So let's open it up and see what this puppy looks like. So if I set this thing down, usually what I will do is I will I will do it this way. And it works very nicely. So while I've got it face down like that, I will lift up my kickstand to about where I want it and then pick it up. 
and there we go. Now I, I, I have it turned on. I, I haven't turned it off. Um, so you can, uh, the power button, I, did, I did, forgot to point that out, is right there. And also right here, as you might be able to see, there's this black streak right here. That's a micro SD card slot. So you can expand your memory with that. But there it is. So we've got a full keyboard layout. Obviously, we don't have a, a number pad, and that's okay. Um, you've got the uh, mouse pad here. I'll, I'll make it wake up. There we go. It woke up for me quite nicely. So you got the mouse pad there. Um, and you've got all the standard function keys and everything. Uh, I don't know where, where this is as far as the size, if it's an 85% keyboard or something small. It's a little smaller than a normal keyboard, but it, wor it works well. The, the, um, the keys have a good travel. In fact, it says it's got a 1.5 millimeter key travel. It's enough to let you know when you press the button to let you know that you've pressed the button. Uh, so, so that works out very well. Now the stylus here really works as a mouse. I knew this came with a stylus when I ordered it. Um, I wasn't sure that I, I wasn't really interested in this at all. Um, but I, I, you know, it came with it. I, I started playing around with it, and this really works quite nicely. Um, so if I just kind of hover over, you'll see this little. You might see this little dot appears, but if I if I press down, this button is the second button right here. The back button, that is uh, like a right mouse click button. So if I hold that down and then tap anywhere, I will get the right mouse click menu there. Um, as you can as you can see. So and then and then this button will will sometimes act. The front button will sometimes act like a, a, a left click here. But but for the most part, like if I want to open something, if I want to open Word, say, I just have to tap on it, and that's the left mouse click, just the act of tapping. So when I have, I can tap on that, and then so now I can just type in from my keyboard. Okay, so then if I want to select text with this, I just like do a double tap there, and then if I just slide without picking up, now I've selected that text. And if I wanted to do something special with that, like if I wanted to copy and paste something this pop-up doesn't give me, now once again I can click on this right mouse button, the back one here. Click on that, and you got to wait for this little circle to kind of appear and then pick it up. And I did it wrong. Let me try that again. I'm not in a really great position. So I hold that down, hover over it, let go, and nothing happens. Turn it. I've totally lost my ability to work this pen, apparently. Anyway, but anyway, you can you can right mouse click on things, and and uh, so I like I should be able like I got the double blue lines here. I should be able to right mouse click on that and have it pop up and say, oh, I got an extra space there, and I want to get rid of it. So it, it works pretty well. I can use it to scroll up and down. Uh, I can use it to move the cursor like over here to search for something, uh, and then. And then, you know, use the keyboard for that. So it works pretty well. Uh, I actually like it. I, I kind of envisioned that I would be getting a small mouse for this thing. Because I'm not really a big fan. I mean, the, this works quite nicely, the, the keypad here. Um, and you've got, you can use two fingers for scrolling and, and, there, and some stuff like that. Uh, but... Um, but I, I don't know that I, I, I really, I'm not a real big fan of these things. So I usually like to have some sort of external uh, pointing device. And, and so, like I said, I didn't think that this was going <laughs> to, excuse me, that this was going to be the option. But uh, it's actually worked out pretty nicely. Now, recently, I've had some situations where um, the computer is slow to recognize this. And I don't know if the battery was getting low. On, on this on this stylus. So I just replaced the battery today. Uh, it's too soon to tell. It seems to be a little bit better, but I'm not totally sure on that. So I'm, I'm still waiting. So I, I've got a I've got a small amount of things loaded on here. Um, you know, you'll see I got the standard Windows interface here, uh, and, and you know you got your normal normal kind of things. You can. Um, you know you've got Windows settings. So I mean it's really uh, full Windows here. Everything you want to do in Windows, you can do with this. Uh, it's not a, a, a stripped-down version of Windows. Um, 
so it, it's it's um you know it's fully uh, fully functional in that regard it did take it quite some time to download updates and apply them once i got it probably on the order of three hours so that did take some time i do not have a ton of programs loaded on here because i i will um, I'm planning on using this as a writing machine and, and as a travel machine. So I do have the Office Suite loaded on here. So I got Microsoft Office. So there's Excel. So I got the full Office Suite. But and I've loaded um, I've loaded the Kindle app, uh, so I can use it to read books. Um, but beyond that, um, and I don't want to bring up Publisher. Thank you. Um, I don't really have a whole. I, I want a little Chrome on it. You know, and, and that's enough. It, it's a nice little machine. It's pretty lightweight. It is about two pounds, two, two and a half pounds, I think. The one thing I didn't show you is the keyboard attaches magnetically. So it's got those kind of attachments there. And it attaches right there. And these come together, if I can pick up the keyboard here, quite nicely. It sticks together like that. When I shut it down, it's kind of got a little bit of a magnetic thing here. And the tablet, there's a sensor here, so the tablet knows it's been closed and will go into a sleep mode for me. The other thing that's nice is if I want to use it as a tablet and kind of have it like this, where the keyboard is out of my way behind it, I don't necessarily want it like this. And they did allow you, they, they designed this such that you can connect that backwards and put it on. And then now you've just got the nice velveteen backing that you're holding on to while you're using it as a tablet. I don't know how much I would really use it as a tablet. You know, I have read one book on this using the Kindle app. Um, and, and this is about two pounds. So it's, it's you know, for a PC, it is exceptionally light. For a tablet, <laughs> it's a little on the heavy side for like reading in bed and stuff. But, you know, you do have the kickstand available, too. So, it, yeah, it's quite nice. It's quite nice. The battery life on this thing is um, really pretty phenomenal so far. I am able to um, get my kickstand up here. I am able to, um, I probably could go a week without charging it, really. Because when, the, when, it, is, when it is shut, um, it, it does um, a phenomenal job of conserving power. Uh, so I have, I, I think if I hover here, it should tell me, come on, it should tell me 14 hours and 39 minutes, I've got 38% remaining. So, so you know, that, that's great battery life. It's more than I need. Um, you know, I, I'm not using this thing constantly. I do have Dropbox loaded. I'm using Dropbox to sync up between... Uh, my, my my writing documents between this PC and my and my big PC, my main PC, um, and that is working beautifully. I tried using OneDrive, um, Microsoft OneDrive, and I could not get that to work consistently. Um, so I, I switched to Dropbox, and I'm very happy with that solution. Now, to take this with me. I needed something. I, you know, I don't want to drop this. Uh, I don't want to bang on the table. You know, it, it's it's nice hand. It's a nice thing to hold, but I really needed to, something to carry it in. And so what I got from Staples is this. This is just a a little sleeve from um, it's Swiss Army brand, which I like. I have a Swiss Army knife, so I like that. It's it's just a nice little. A nice little sleeve. There's nothing really on the back. You've got one zipper pocket here, and it's enough to hold this. It's enough to hold this. And then I think I've got, yeah, I've got a slightly longer USB cable uh, than the little short one they provide. Uh, you know, so these two things go in here, and then I can zip it closed. And then that just slides right in there like that. Very nice. Zipper it shut, just like that, and it's got some nice padding on it, and it takes the whole, the whole kit and caboodle very, very nicely. And this was twenty dollars, like I say, at Staples, um, and uh, I'm very happy with this. It, it does very nice, very nice job. So that is the Asus Mini Transformer. Um, 
I bought this from Amazon uh, for about three hundred and fifty dollars and uh, I'm very happy with the purchase it's working out very well for me it's providing what I need it to it's probably not something you're gonna want to have be a a workhorse PC um, it's a little limited on the space with the 128 gigs of, of main drive capability and the 4 gigs of, of uh, RAM on it. You can add a memory. I think I've got a 16 gig memory card in there right now. So that's nice if you want to have like music on there. I actually used it as a medium to transfer my music files and I went ahead and put them on the hard drive. Um, uh, you know, so, but I, you know, I've got another PC that I use for like editing this video and podcasting and is my main repository. And, uh, I don't think I'd want to replace that with this. This is more of a, of a, just the purpose of, of something lightweight I can take with me that I can do some work on, uh, but not, not necessarily be my main workhorse PC. So that is it. That's all. That's the review. So let me know if you have specific questions. Leave me a comment. I'd be glad to, to uh, answer them. I'm hoping I did everything. Um, you know, you got some things that are, you know, this is probably the worst thing about it. This stupid little loop here that's meant for the stylus. It does. It's too small for the stylus to fit through. And if you just put the little, um, the pocket clip for it, it falls out. So that's really kind of the worst thing about this, about this thing. And it's actually already starting to rip. So at some point I'll probably just have to have to cut that off you know that's probably my biggest con which is nothing that is nothing so i i, I would i recommend this product if you want something that's this lightweight and portable and it gives you a ton of functionality but i hope you enjoyed this review uh, i hope to do more uh going forward so thanks for watching and until next time be seeing you